74 was the final on December 30th in Pittsburgh. The Panthers have won two straight in the series and four of the last five, and they've won their last two meetings at Smith Center. And Jeff Capel, the third's team, wins the tap. And a team that's won two straight and four of five and is four and one on the road in the ACC has the ball first. This is Greg Elliott, the transfer from Marquette, and Blake Henson, the star of Saturday's win against Miami, misses on a long jump shot. Carolina's first chance with R.J. Davis healthy and back on the floor after that collision with Judah Mintz a week ago last night at the Dome in Central New York. Here is Baycott against Federico. Federico. Armando too strong. Rebounded inside. And a bounce pass from Black. And then Baycott had it stripped. Nice hands inside by Federico. Cummings for Federico. Toes the baseline. Threw it away trying to save it off Baycott. Davis a pull up two. Back rim miss. RJ a second try. And Elliott pulls away the rebound. Cummings with a mismatch against Nance. I don't think he wanted to pick up his dribble so quickly. Now, Henson's got love defending him. Yeah, that's the one they're trying to find. Here's a spot up on Baycott off the window and in for Blake Henson. Boy, that's really good pace job getting position without fouling. Henson's had 20 or more in his last two. He's had three games against the ACC of 20 or more, six this season. Nance for the lead. Three ball from the left corner for Pete Nance. This is back. Yep. Here's Burton to pull up on Black. It was short. Leakey did a good job making it a difficult shot. On the drive, Davis and one. Defense. Yep. And he could. He was trying to get to that screen up high, but he couldn't get there. Here's Cummings. Nine to shoot. Launches the three. That's good. Nelly Cummings, a 31 percent three. 28 is not very good in ACC play, West, but he's going to have to make a few tonight, I think. Caleb Love, a deep three. Well, Love is three. Of Pitt's capable of switching one to five. Here's Nance with seven to shoot. Trying to back down Henson here. Four on the clock, little running hook. Sure. Pete Nance has got five. You want to be careful. You don't want to come and double team because Davis is out there. He can shoot the three. And if you double team, then that might leave Baycott open. There's a lob and Federico the tap in. in. Wes, that was the college before coming to Pittsburgh. Boy, he's got a huge upside. Baycott's got to handle a little bit more, Wes. There's Love. That's another deep three. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn. They've doubled the number on the Panthers. Has Carolina here early. Almost six minutes gone. Cummings trying to fight for a spot in the paint. Scores on a nice spin. Five for Nelly Cummings on his second. Well, Wes, he can recover that ball on the other side of the court because that's a rebound. Here's Cummings. Foul line. Runner good. Now, I'm telling you, the Pitt Panthers are really good in a little bit. Well, his minutes are picking up because his productivity is picking up, Wes. He has shown that he is a pretty good offensive player. Love on the drive, scoop, and score. Caleb Love has got it in the gearbox tonight for Carolina. Here is Nate Santos, the 21-year-old sophomore from Geneva, Illinois, who's averaging about seven minutes a game in conference play. Burton left open. And the three spins out. He can make the three, West, and he shoots a pretty good percentage, but that is not the best part of his game. DeMarco Dunn launches. Nance tried to recover. Sabandi chases it down. Off the Guillermo Diaz screen, and... Good defensively. Nance with six to shoot. Jalen Washington hanging out. Now Nance is in trouble against Diaz. Graham fall away. Sure. All the trap against Kevin Keats's Wolfpack. That's a really big game for North Carolina State. Here is Elliott a spot up too. Greg Elliott's first basket. In gear, flipped it up. No whistle for me. Baseline official Pat Driscoll. I'm not sure there's any contact there, Wes. He was just off balance. Elliott at the other end rings the bell on a three. Wes, and I think that's something we're going to see in this game. Pitt to Cameron, then 
NC State and Georgia Tech from Atlanta, 8 o'clock. Women's basketball on ACC and always available on the ESPN app. And there is Jamarius Burton's first mark of the night. 15 3 of the young freshman on the floor at 6 7 for the first time during the uh, dead ball a moment ago. Now Love with 10 to shoot. Squares for three on coming. <laughs> this has allowed him the room to dribble into that. Burton tries to answer, cannot. Ball got deflected away. Cummings and a new 20 for Pitt. Nelly right back on the mark with a three. And he's had some for Cummings. He has much more accomplished amateur player in Spain. He's on their under 20 nationals. There's a bounce pass in traffic. They got the catch and score. And if they called that on Burton, that's two. But Federico, Federico. Shooting. Give Baycott perhaps a little more room here is Nickel. Catch and shoot three. Too strong off the back iron. And now Sabandi off to the races in transition. Oh, oh. Nicely done. Wow. Nike Sabandi with four. At six feet tall, there's very little Cummins is going to be able to do in there. Ten to shoot over Baycott. Oh, what a the shot down by Nelly Cummings. Wow. But going at it on the inside now, Wes. Two minutes to play first half. Here's Nance attacking on the dribble. Jump shot for Pete Nance. He's got nine. That's his fourth field goal. Again, most of his work in the lane and in the mid-range. This has been a very fascinating first half. Here's Love feeding Nickel. Layup good for Tyler Nickel. Oh. And tend to shoot with Burton on the inbounds. Against Caleb Love. Squares for the three. And oh, so oh. handy to tap follow. What a play. And he beat Nance to that ball. He'll borrow a timeout. Nope. We're going to play. Davis to put it in. Here's Nance. Two, one. Threw it up. Nickel to follow. Blocked by Diaz Graham. And Pitt's going to take a one point lead to the locker room. Pretty interesting 20 in Chapel Hill. Burton attacks hard on the dribble. Back up against Black. And Elliott. How did he get that rebound? Get the rebound. And there's Burton inside scoring for the Panthers. Nine for Jamarius Burton on his side. Caught shot with the ease that Federico Federico just did. Yep. Here's Cummings. On the drop. Back to Federico who got the roll. Second field goal for the sophomore. Born in double team on Armando Bacon. Yeah, they have, and Baycott, he's got to recognize when that's coming and find an open teammate. See inside, there's Armando <laughs> scoring and drawing the foul. Wes, and we talked about our stars before your player now because the officials are looking for trouble. Nance at three. Baycott to tap, tried to get his own rebound, finally got it, now Black somehow out of the play with his first basket. Wes, and again, I... And Leaky Black to the bench with 16.05 to play as Henson misses the three. R.J. Davis, the one-man fast break. And I think they called a foul as well. Eight in the ball game for the Panthers. Yes, we've had 24 fouls in this game. Yep, here is Love on the drive. Strong take, Caleb Love, 15. And that's the field. ball to the basket. Three-point lead now for Carolina. Five minutes into the second half. Right back to the Burton-Dunn matchup. And Jamarius Burton now with 11 on his third field goal. Four and a half for the grad student from Charlotte. And the Panthers have gone with a smaller lineup. Nance dumps inside for Baycott. Double-team quickly. Love fires past Elliott on the drive and scores. And again, he had the opportunity to West to shoot a three. Nelly Cummins, West, he's got 12 points, but he hasn't scored since late in the first half. Yep. Here's Cummings over Baycott. Ooh, boy, we've seen three misses and bad ones at that. And now we've got another whistle post foul. Federico back in the game, so they're playing with their bigger lineup. Mm -hmm. Here's Baycott. Back door Nance. And score. 11 for Pete Nance. Go. 
13 to 2, Tar Heel run. Cummings for three. Cuts the deficit in half. We just talked about the fact that he hadn't scored in a while, West Rim. And with eight minutes gone, second half. Pittsburgh, who got a big Cummings basket, now shoots for the tie. And Nelly Cummings ties the game. He's got gets Federico. Rimmed out, Henson the rebound. Federico continues to do a really good job just getting in the way. Six in a row as Cummings getting nine. He is nine in a row for Nelly Cummings. That's his fifth three of the night. And all of a sudden, Carolina's got to be back on the attack. Baycott skips for Dunn. That's a two, and it's good for DeMarco Dunn. Trying to snap the Tar Heel 12-game home win streak at Smith Center when Carolina's last loss was last February to Pitt. Here's Federico on the duck off a nice bounce pass. He's got six. And, and the stick back rolls off. Ten minutes to go. Here's Burton. Little ball fake on Baycott, and Jamarius Burton now has got 13, Dan. And Capels. Here's Henson. A quiet night from a scoring perspective for Blake Henson. Burton working on Dunn. Soft jumper good. Burton, uh, that's the, you know, Burton. That and eight in the second half. Jamarius Burton is a... For sure, first team all ACC candidate, and he's showing why tonight really at both ends of the floor. Running one hander by Davis is good. That's a big basket and a tough. Jamarius Burton. Good luck. Here is Burton. Now switched off to Nance. On the drive, right hand score is good. Boy, Burton is so good at that when he gets. Carolina has missed all 10 of their threes in the second half. Nance, a little soft turnaround is good. 13 for Pete Nance. Well. Sabandi. Backing down Love. Squeezes up and in for the basket. The pit backcourt, not only feet tall, they can worm their way inside. Love. Thought about the three. Runner is good. 19 for Caleb Love on spinning through traffic. Tried to get it to Baycott. It got deflected away. Now they're going to go to the deck. Pete tried to keep it. Sabandi's out of there with it. Pitt looking for a transition chance. And Sabandi scores. Wow. <laughs> I thought that was a force a little bit by. Federico running Baycott and Love can't get in the ball. Tim to shoot. Here's Davis. Feeds Baycott for the dunk. And one. Under four we go. Baycott. Skip for Black. Here's Love with Sabandi defending. Shake down and three ball. Love with the Tar Heels first three of the second half. Henson, Federico, and Cummings has been the star tonight. Bounce pass, nice play, Federico. He's got eight on his fourth field, man-to-man. -man. Now Love. Nance right back for Baycott. Double team coming. Armando oh, stopped away, but he traveled. Yep, moved the pivot foot. And with 27.7 left now, they are. They're going for the last shot. Sure are. Elliott with the screen. Here's Burton working against Davis in the traffic foul with 3.4. And the foul is four for four tonight. First one is good. Game tied. Carolina does have a timeout left. Free throw good. Pitt in front with 3.4 to go. Nance backcourt to Davis. Two, one. RJ calls a timeout with point six. Love will put it in play. They're going to throw to Caleb Love from Black. It's blocked by Sabandi. And Pittsburgh has beaten Carolina 65 to 64. The Panthers win for a third.
third straight time at the Smith Center. That's all you have time to do, Wes, and Nike Sabandi does a great job getting pressure. Yep. And Pittsburgh is going to go.